oh my love my soul is bent low with the pain and the burden of love like the grace of a flower that is smitten with rain oh shelter my soul from thy face लहरों से डरकर नौका पार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की हार नहीं होती नन्ही चीठी जब दाना देकर चलती है चढ़ती दीवारों पर सौ बार फिसलती है मन का विश्वास रगों में साहस भरता है चढ़कर गिरना गिरकर चढ़ना ना अखड़ता है आखिर उसकी मेहनत बेकार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की हार नहीं होती डुबकियां सिंधु में गोताखोर लगाता है जा जाकर खाली हाथ लौट कर आता है मिलते नहीं सहज ही मोती गहरे पानी में बढ़ता दुगना उत्साह इसी हैरानी में मुट्ठी उसकी खाली हर बार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की हार नहीं होती असफलता एक चुनौती है स्वीकार करो क्या कमी रह गई देखो और सुधार करो जब तक न सफल हो नींद चैन को त्यागो तुम संघर्ष का मैदान छोड़ मत भागो तुम कुछ किए बिना ही जय जयकार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की हार नहीं होती Thank you.
you. Thank you, Naid Garu. Good evening. Good evening, one and all. At the outset, I would like to thank our chief guest, Dr. K. V. Ramana Charigaru, a, a person who is well known in our place, doesn't require any introduction, and particularly for this kind of a gathering. And also our guest of honor, Rajkumari Indra Deviji. Several invited guests, faculty members, and ladies and gentlemen. I extend a warm welcome to all of you to our, this campus, what we call as Golden Threshold. University of Hyderabad actually started at this building. We all have fond memories of starting our university at this very building. And several of us actually talk about, uh, talk with nostalgia when we start talking about how the university has begun at this place. And this has become possible with the kind donation of Padmanja Naidu, the, their property for this university. And a place where all of us know Sarojin Naidu has lived and then we know the name that she has made for herself, for this region and for the country. And when she has her daughter donated this for this to this university. Now many of you sitting in this room know what University of Hyderabad is today. In its 45 years of existence, University of Hyderabad has become an envious destination. <coughs> Several institutions which have start which have been started during that period are still struggling to make a name for themselves while University of Hyderabad has become already an institution of eminence. It is all the kind heart with which she has donated, their family has donated this very special premises for the starting of this university. I think that has paved the way for the development of this university to the institution of eminence today. When everything was happening, there was, there was a time, everything was happening here. After some time, few things were happening. And after some more time, uh, some, some activities we are continuing and some act, most of the activities we have shifted to our main campus at the Chibali. And a university, when it has grown to this level, we always remembered, as I said in the beginning, we always remember, and every one of us, GT, we call it in short, Golden Threshold. We always remembered this place, and we wanted to see that this place continues to be the place where a lot of activity is there. And the presence of a university, like University of Hyderabad, which has grown to this level, should also help not only the students who are admitting, who, who are admitted to different courses in the university, but also to the region and the place, a place which has been, not, which has been a, a, a place of lot of activity. When I interacted with Indraji, I know, I, I'm new to this place that way, 
but Indraji had a, her own association with uh, Saraj Naidu's family and therefore she also knew what was the kind of activity that was here, including great leaders like Mahatma Gandhi uh, by, uh, were visiting this place and it was full of activity here. And today we are happy after several years Indraji has come forward to put an endowment to revive that kind of an activity on this campus. When she has put that donation, that endowment with the university, university was going, we, we, we feel sorry that we took a little longer than what it should have done. We should have completed it a bit earlier. But then somehow the project got slightly delayed. We, we have taken it up about a one and a half years back with, uh, with more seriousness and I would like to first of all thank Indraji for thinking of uh, putting a donation, an endowment for, to revive the cultural uh, activities on this campus and that's where it is appropriate for us to call it as Rajkumari Indra Deviji Hall. And thank you very much, Madam, for this kind of endowment and for encouraging University of Hyderabad to revive the activities on Golden Fish, at Golden Threshold. I also need to thank particularly two of my colleagues, Professor Vinod and Dr. Janathan. These two have taken it to their heart and Particularly, Vinod has worked here for several years. He was a student of this place. He studied in this campus and he also taught here. Therefore, he has, I can see, he has more and more affection for this campus. And he has put in his best efforts, very well supported by Dr. Janathan and both of them I would like to thank on this occasion for making a dream come true today for us to have this hall which is which is available from today for all cultural and literary events. This is what we would like to announce. And some of you may be aware and of course many of you know because you are all uh, interested in cultural activities and uh, literary uh, program activities. Therefore, you know about our School of Performing Arts. We call it now School of Performing Arts and Communication. This school, University of Hyderabad has named it after Sarojin Naidu. So we call it as Sarojin Naidu School of Arts and Communication. The school has a department of dance, department of theater, theater arts, department of fine arts, and a department of communication. And very recently, we, start, we have started working, and in fact, we have already set up a new department, what we call as department of music. And that department, with that department, we thought we are able to add the, the required components to this arts. And that is how, and every time as a vice chancellor when I go to different places, I take pride to tell many people that many people know outside as, as a university which is in science kind. I tell them, you, they may be right from one angle, but University of Hyderabad is known for its arts uh, and communication, its social, social sciences, economics, humanities, and in all these areas, we have done equally well. And a, a university which is multidisciplinary, which has been able to do equally well in several different disciplines, 
is the most appropriate institution for a philanthropist like Indraji to put endowments, and she has rightly put it, put her endowments, and which has given an opportunity for us to have regular, on a regular basis, lectures in different uh, languages in the School of Humanities. And now, this place will be available not only in the campus, but it is available for the entire city. The people who love these cultural activities and the literary activities, and probably we will be able to uh, allow, um, facilitate some screening of films and some important other things as well in this campus as we move forward. We have, made, we have big plans, and uh, the plans would be like another, um, a little larger hall we are going to renovate and make it available soon. Maybe uh, if everything goes well in about six to seven months, we should be able to get it ready. And we are working very closely with INTAC. This is another proposal which has got delayed because it required some specialized funding. And uh, we wanted to do the best possible way, and therefore we were waiting for a good opportunity to um, protect this heritage building, not only simply protect the building, I was sharing with our honorable advisor that we want to make this place buzzing with cultural, literary activities and also a place of tourism. People should be able to see this as the tourists who come to Hyderabad should also see this heritage building and the activities that happen at this building. This is, some, this is our desire and therefore we are working towards this and thanks to the recent support that we have got from the Government of India, Ministry of Human Resources Development under Institution of Eminence, we will be able to, we are making our plans into, uh, in, into a proper uh, shape. We are putting them in a proper shape to execute them one by one and see to it that everybody in our region will feel uh, proud that University of, uh, that Sarojin Naidu or Sarojin Naidu's family has donated this building to University of Hyderabad and University of Hyderabad has properly used it so far and also gave, make, made a good name for this donation and made it actually uh, utilized it to the maximum and the people of this region will feel happy that so many things will happen in this building very soon. Uh, with this, I don't want to take too long. I would like to also request There was, uh, to be a little formal welcome, which uh, sort of the Vice Chancellor jump-started a bit, uh, and of course has adequately welcomed all of you and uh, shared the plans for Golden Threshold with you all. But uh, may I now request uh, uh, Vice Chancellor to present a bouquet to Indiraji as a sign of a formal welcome. And I'll, and I'll request uh, the Director of Distance Education, Dr. Jilani, to present a bouquet to Dr. Ramana Charigaru. And uh, and uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Janardhan, will present a bouquet to uh, Vice Chancellor, Dr. Aparu. Thank you. Uh, no, I don't have uh, much more to add to the welcome. I think the Vice Chancellor has uh, shared the big plans that we have for Golden Threshold. It is true that many of us are, uh, you know, have a emotional link 
to this place, having uh, studied and taught in this premises for some years. And I'm happy actually to see some alumni who got very excited to see the event being announced on Facebook. And, uh, and many of them studied here, and some of them are here. So welcome to all the alumni and other uh, friends of uh, GTI, I should say, who are here. Uh, I think the, uh, the, the idea for Golden Threshold that the Vice Chancellor has shared, I mean, you might see this hall as a small but significant step towards restoring Golden Threshold to a literary and cultural hub for the city. Yeah, so I, I see a lot of faces in the room who are from different walks of literary and cultural life of this city, and I hope moving forward all of you will support this endeavor, uh, come up with ideas about how to use not only this hall, of course this hall is now open, for all kinds of events, uh, literary and cultural. But uh, there will be an auditorium at the back that will seat about 150 to 200 people. When the house, which is the heritage structure, is fully restored with the support of Intac, we are hoping that we will have an art gallery, especially for young and upcoming artists to display their work. Uh, as some of you know, a lot of the art and culture uh, venues in the city have all moved to Banjara Hills and Jubilee Hills. There is hardly anything apart from uh, Ravindra Bharti in the heart of the city. Yeah, so we are hoping that we, we will add to whatever exists today in, in this part of uh, the city. And hopefully it will also have a small museum dedicated to the life of uh, Sarojini Naidu. There are also small outdoor spaces in this complex, which also we would throw it open. I mean, on uh, nice winter evenings, you could have outdoor events, film screenings, poetry readings, uh, book launches, and so on. So we want this space to buzz with activity on a daily basis, and not just for universities' activities, but we would throw it open to literary and cultural groups in the city. So welcome to all of you, and I'll request uh, Professor Aparogaru to proceed further with the rest of the program. Thank you. Actually, uh, it was the right word. Uh, there was a jump start. I, well, I, I, he was. Uh, uh, I always wanted to be thanking Vinod for all that what he has done. That is the. That's where I have uh, started off all that. And as I said, it is not time for us to talk more. We would like to actually listen to two of our uh, guests. First, we would like to request our uh, the donor and our guest of honor, Indraji, for her remarks. And uh, she has, I have interacted in the last three years, uh, I have interacted with her in the last three years, and I have uh, known at least some part of her interests. I don't think I, I have known her completely, but I have known at least some part of her interests. Every time, she comes with very, very special interest whenever there is a lecture, be it in Hindi, be it in Urdu, or is it in, even it in Telugu. In all these uh, places where she has put the endowment, she is passionate about these languages and the literary, literature and literary activities because of her association, a long association with Seshendraji. Guntur Seshendra Sarmagaru. And uh, I am a person who has come from the, the same town. I have uh, from Guntur. And we know how the cultural activities happen in small town like Guntur on a regular basis. As a, ch as a child I have seen, as a student I have seen in those places. And it's, uh, it's a kind gesture on her part that she thought of putting this endowment to revive those activities in the center of the city, which will, as Vinod rightly mentioned, in this part, it becomes an additional resource for those lovers of the literary and cultural activities. With, with this, I would like to request Indraji to share her thoughts on this occasion.
the University of Hyderabad. Let me begin by thanking the University of Hyderabad, the dynamic vice chancellor, Professor Aparal Garu, who has taken such interest in building up this institution. When I gave this endowment, it was for one reason. The people of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, the average people do not have a place. They cannot go to the Ravindra Bharti. They cannot afford Ravindra Bharti. And they had to have some place where they could have small meetings of 50 people, 20 people, 20 students, some music, some dance, or whatever. So this was one idea. And I'm happy that it's been put to some use. For me, it's like putting me, giving me a day in the sun, because this is sun, where they have dedicated the hall to me. Thank you. I, now it is up to the university to use it as best as they can. I have many interests. I have literature, painting, music, and to see your faces light up. I think all our people here were depressed, going away into their own homes. They never came out and met each other, which was very necessary. And people ask me, how do you keep so young? Well, I'm not really. So I say, well, because I do a lot of work, not mental, I mean mental work. I sit before the uh, computer, I talk to people, I have friends, I speak on, you know, I have a dialogue. So dialogue is very important. Keep thinking and you will always be young. Another thing is today I see so many people before me whom I had not met for a long time. And I'm very happy to meet Ragnar Charikaru after 50 years. I entered Telugu literature and that's when I met him. Then my journey into Telugu literature has been very deep, very honorable, and very memorable. I met the... What's happening up there? Okay. Hello. I'm sorry. I have to change. Now, my journey into Telugu literature has been very, very... That's not me. <laughs> it's been very, very... I cannot explain. It's not just romantic. I met the great literary figures of Telugu, whom I can never forget. It was something I had known Urdu, I had known Marathi, I had known Hindi, and Telugu was a great addition to my knowledge, to my experience, and and the simplicity they had. They were the simplest people I've ever seen. A writer is very simple. People think he's very knowledgeable, he won't talk to you, but he will. He will talk to you. He will lead you. He will read to you. One thing in my childhood, my father used to sit in a garden. And now we had to go and see him in the garden. There are only two chairs. He say, Idhar se kato, udhar se kato. It was all cutting trees. And we'd be there, and he'd pick up a book. He'd be reading Ghalib, he'd be reading Jalil, he'd be reading uh, Jalili, all these people. And we had to listen. He'd say, Suno. And then in the evening, Shankara Bai used to be here. And she used to sing. So we had to hear all these songs again. Slowly we got interested in literature, we got interested in poetry, we got interested in music. That was the way of life. That is Hyderabad. And Hyderabad, you cannot explain. Hyderabad is diverse. Hyderabad is loving. Here are lots of people who just came because they heard my name. They knew there'd be a smile for them. There'd be a
loving Arab or something, and there are Telugu people. Here is someone I knew long ago. Where are you? <laughs> Raghu, where are you? Now you see, there are so many people I know, and I can recognize them. 50 years have not made any difference. They're all there in my mind. And every time I look at my, my telephone directory, I find these names. And I wonder whether they've all disappeared because of the new phones, iPhones. <laughs> well, do you have the same telephone number? Huh? OK, ring up. <laughs> so I'm so happy you came. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad this hall will be useful whatever, I hope you like it. I hope it will be useful more. You know what happened to normal writers in Andhra Pradesh? The common writer, the common poet who cannot afford very much, he cannot go to Ravindra Bharti. And Ravindra Bharti is not given anymore to the Andhra people. I have a grouse against you. <laughs> now why? There are two states of Telugu. They should have equal possibilities. I was married to an Andhra man, but it didn't make any difference. Hyderabad never just threw him away. But today I'm sad that there is an Andhra and there's a Telangana. Sometimes they ask me, am I Andhra or am I Telangana? I said, I don't know, I'm Hyderabadi. <laughs> so welcome, welcome to this new hall. And let me say, there's a, there's a couplet of, of Ghalib. Hum kaha ke dana the, kis hunar mein ekta the, be sabab hua Ghalib, dushman asma. Thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you, and I'd love to hear our very distinguished person, Ramana Chari Garu, and I don't want to stand between you and him. Thank you again, and khuda hafiz, adab, namaskar. Madam, for sharing your thoughts and sharing uh, uh, your moments and how you got attracted and how you got interested into this literature and maybe poetry and other music and other cultural activities. The government of Telangana has an eminent advisor in the name of Dr. K. V. Ramana Charigaru. Madam may have expressed in her elderly uh, terms whether I belong to Andhra, Telangana, Hyder or, but I am a Hyderabadi. That's wonderful, the way she has put it. What I would like to mention here is, here is a man who has helped in the newly formed state to again revive and enhance the literary and cultural activities in the state of Telangana. He is known for it. He has been very well recognized for all the contribution that he has made in the last five, five and a half years after he has been in this particular, when he, the government has entrusted with, the, with such kind of responsibility. Therefore, we thought it is, when we are thinking in a small way to revive our golden threshold for these activities, we thought he would be the best man for us to be the chief guest. And it was nice on his part that he did not take time to say yes to be part of this evening and to be the chief guest and to share his thoughts with us. Therefore, now I request our chief guest Dr. Ramana Charigaru to share, to give his message. Professor Aparavgaru, Madam Rajkumari Indiraji, and uh, my friends. It's a matter of delight for me 
to inaugurate this hall today, along with uh, Rajkumari and Professor Apparal Pudili, and all of you. As a matter of fact, when I was a student of Usmania University, I've been hearing a lot about this golden threshold. And in 1960s and in 1970s, you know, once this became Hyderabad Central University, I became so much excited at that point of time. And today, Vice Chancellor has made a mention of the fact that Hyderabad University has become an institution of eminence. It is because of all the efforts of the Vice Chancellors in succession. But I take this opportunity to make a mention here that the intention of Padmajana Yuduji, the pious and very fair in intention, Sankalpa, has been responsible for making this university an institution of eminence. <laughs> Great people, they have done a lot of service to the country, to the society. They have donated this historical heritage building. And today, again, Rajkumari Indra Dhandas Giriji, she has donated some amount. And today in her name, this hall has been inaugurated. And this name would be there for years together and for the, all the future. Thanks a lot, madam. You have taken a lot of uh, generous gesture for having done something for this university. As uh, Madam has made a mention of the fact that Ravindra Bharti is not accessible to all, I agree. Because in Hyderabad, it's only one auditorium which has been up to some standards. Though there is Shilpa Ramam on one side, there is um, uh, Harihara Kalabhavan in Sikindabad side. Unfortunately, the people are not that interested to go to those areas except the cinema people. Several cultural organizations and literary organizations, they are very much interested to have the auditorium with some 50 to 100 or 100 to 150 audience so that they can have their books released, their workshops, their seminars conducted. Even Central uh, Sahich Academy, they have also felt the difficulty in conducting their programs in uh, conference hall of Ravindra Bharti. Now that Hyderabad Central University has taken a very good deal, step to develop this golden threshold into a very literary and cultural center in the years to come. I expect that several literary programs, several culture programs, several plays are staged here along with the art galleries uh, utilization also. Madam Anuradhaji here, she has been representing INTAC. So along with INTAC, if uh, Hyderabad University takes a few more steps Certainly, this will become a big tourist spot also in the years to come. All my help, all my support, not only my, the government of Telangana support also will be there with the Hyderabad Central University. And uh, we will wish, and I am one person to wish this golden threshold to become a big buzz activity here to have on behalf of the University of Hyderabad. I take this opportunity to congratulate Professor Aparav Podiliji, and I take this opportunity to make pronouns to Indira Dhanraj Giriji. Because of you, we are all here. Because of your donation, we are all here. Because of your donation, Hyderabad Central University has taken a step to, though it is a bit delayed, step to get it inaugurated today. And today, this hall is Rajkumari Indira, Indiraji Hall. And after 30 years or 50 years also, Rajkumari's name will be there. And Indira will, may not be there, but Rajkumari's name will be there. <laughs> <laughs> so in the democratic setup, only one Rajkumari in Telangana and in Andhra Pradesh and the southern parts of India, it is Rajkumari Indira Dandas Giriji. Pranams to Indraji and pranams to all of you. Thanks a lot. And congratulations to <laughs> Professor Apparaudar. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for your uh, kind words and also the assurance that you have given to all of us to extend your support to University of Hyderabad and for these activities. And uh, yes, we are looking forward to have even sessions 
on book readings also in addition to other programs that we have been mentioning. And uh, um, Ramana Charigaru has rightly mentioned that the, there are some cultural groups. My good friend who has been our employee also, Mr. K. Murtigaru, GLN Murtigaru, he is sitting in the audience. In fact, he is uh, one who has been telling there are many people who are looking for these kind of avenues who will be very happy to use it both formally and informally, the areas that we have outside this hall also. These places can become very good center and a place where many activities can happen. And uh, somehow things got delayed, but now we are happy that we have made it. And uh, halls, this hall can be up to 50, up to 60, 70, comfortably it can do. And we are, as I said, we are reviving the other hall which can take up to 200. That also will help us to uh, have activities depending on the size of the uh, audience, size of the participants, and the kind of program. And we are going to take help of, actually, uh, Manviji, actually, uh, um, uh, Vinod told me, uh, Manviji also was our faculty uh, at Sarojini School, and he has readily come forward to give and send some some of his colleagues to here to help us in designing this kind of the, uh, 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 the other hall as well so that it can be used for multi-purpose. These are the efforts that Vinod has put in and therefore we are now very confident that this will become a very good place for all of us, for the people in this region. For, and we want to see the, this as an extended arm and where our social responsibility as a university as a university social responsibility activity, we want to join, be part of the society by making it available for these activities which require a good support from institutions, be it institutions like government, government of Telangana, or an institution like University of Hyderabad, which is funded by the government of India. So thank you very much, sir, for gracing this occasion and for inaugurating uh, this hall today. and. Uh, as I said in the beginning, you are the right person today to inaugurate this hall and to put a, sow the seed for revival of this particular activity on this campus. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, we would like to, I would like to request Vinod uh, to say his words of thanks. Even the vice chancellor has to plead like this. <laughs> I think you should be able to. He should be able to give it to you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is just to extend a formal uh, uh, thanks to uh, everyone involved in this project, uh, to the dignitaries who came today. Let me start uh, by uh, expressing our deep sense of gratitude to Rajkumari Indira Devi Dhanrajgir for her uh, generosity, for her, uh, I should say, immense patience. We have been waiting and waiting to do this. And uh, no, I mean, uh, also, personally, uh, yes, on behalf of the university, I have been uh, working with her and uh, having a dialogue with her about this space constantly. And uh, she has always been very affectionate and uh, extended her warmth uh, to me. So thank you, Indiraji, and we'll continue to stay in touch with you. Uh, also, our uh, deep sense of thanks to Dr. Ramana Charigaru, who at a very short notice uh, has agreed to come as a chief guest today. Uh, in fact, uh, we just talked to him on the phone and uh, he has agreed to come. Uh, Ramana Charigaru as an advisor uh, to government of Telangana and in his own personal capacity has been a patron of arts and deeply committed to the cultural and artistic heritage of uh, not only Hyderabad but for Telangana as a whole, I'm sure we'll continue to work with him and the government of Telangana to take our uh, ideas forward. Uh, a special thanks to Jaivan Naidu and uh, the accompanist, uh, the tabla player who came today. Uh, again, uh, these are all, you know, uh, friends uh, 
artists uh, who we have been interacting with for a long time in the city. And at a very short notice, uh, Jaywant has agreed to come and uh, give us a little musical start to this evening. Thank you very much, uh, Jaywant. I should, I mean, it's a little awkward to thank uh, your own people, but I should mention uh, the Vice Chancellor for his constant support. It is true that the endowment was made even before the current Vice Chancellor took over. Uh, for various reasons, uh, uh, there's been a delay, but ever since I took up this uh, project with uh, the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Aparo, he's been extending constant support. Evinced a very keen interest on this project and repeatedly expressed his commitment to the restoration of Golden Threshold, not just this hall, but to the entire premises so that this place will buzz with literary and cultural activities very soon. Thank you, sir. I should also thank uh, Dr. Jilani, the director of uh, Center for Distance Education and uh, Virtual Learning. In fact, the only University of Hyderabad activity that still happens in this premises. And in many ways, uh, he's been the custodian of this place, uh, very enthusiastic about reviving Golden Threshold. Uh, he says, he sometimes jokingly says he feels very lonely here, and he would like to see a lot more activity in this place. Sir, we are going to start those activities and give you uh, something to cheer about. Uh, the engineering department of the University of Hyderabad, some of our engineers are here who rose to the occasion, helped us with uh, getting this place together with acoustics and lighting and so on. Thank you very much. Various people in the city who represent cultural and literary groups who have always responded with much excitement and enthusiasm whenever I raised the issue of Golden Threshold. And they were partly the reason why, you know, which motivated us to do this. Yeah, so thanks to all of you. And, uh, you know, we are now opening these premises to all of you. I should also thank uh, various deans of the Sarojini Naidu School, the school that uh, Professor Aparo mentioned. Uh, the current dean, Professor Tirumal, is here. But several deans uh, have played a role in uh, making this happen. Uh, in fact, uh, Professor Mohan Ramanan, the dean of the School of Humanities, was in a way responsible for starting this dialogue and then sort of handing over that mantle to us. Yeah? So I thank him. He's not here today. Uh, I should also thank uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Janardhan, uh, whom the Vice Chancellor mentioned. Uh, I, I don't know how to thank him uh, adequately. I mean, he really worked day and night to make this hall a reality. Uh, even like in the last two days, uh, I don't know if he slept enough, but uh, I mean, he's a trained uh, video person. He understands acoustics, sound. So he took minute care of everything that's happening in this room. Uh, so Janardhan, thank you very much for all your efforts. Yeah. Finally, our public relations officer, Ashish, uh, is he here? Yeah, Ashish, uh, for all your uh, support as usual with the media. Uh, I'm happy to note that I mean, the Vice Chancellor was saying this morning, there seems to be quite a bit of interest in the media to see the revival of Golden Threshold. They have responded very positively. Uh, so I hope uh, they'll continue to visit this place, visit the various activities that would happen here. So thank you very much. Before we close for the evening, one small thing we would like to do, but a significant thing as a gesture of uh, thanks from the institution. I'd like our Vice Chancellor, Professor Aparao, to felicitate Indiraji with a shawl. I mean, this is a small token of our thanks. Uh, And uh, may I request the Vice Chancellor to also felicitate Dr. Ramanachari with a shawl as well. Yeah, you come.
thanks to everyone for being here for this uh, opening event uh, for this hall. And I uh, hope you'll keep coming back. Uh, there is a Facebook page for Golden Threshold. Please uh, keep visiting the page to see the events. And uh, we'll start creating a mailing list for events that will happen in Golden Threshold that we would be organizing. Uh, for other events that the groups would be organizing, they could continue to use uh, the Golden Threshold Facebook page. Yeah, so thank you, everyone. Good night, and uh, see you all soon again.